Clear two dive, pumping in. Yesterday dive was the first dive of the expedition and it was to a depth of 10,078 metres. That's bottom, right? Yep. She's there, bottom is there. Very successful dive and very peculiar dive. Strange in a number of ways. The first way was when we got it down, there wasn't much there. There's not a single thing out the window right now. Like nothing. Absolutely nothing. You would expect to see lots of sea cucumbers at that depth. In the early 50s, when they first went out trawling these places, they declared these trenches the kingdom of the Holothurian, which is sea cucumbers. There wasn't a single one. I'm flabbergasted at how little is actually here. This is the most desolate place I've ever seen. And so what it seems like is this trench, or certainly the bottom of this trench, is quite different to other ones in that it's much more dynamic, it's much more unstable. It looked fragile and it felt like if you sneezed, you would start an avalanche. Oh, set off another landslide, look. Yeah, look at go. Like it would do if you're on the other side of a ski slope. You disturb the snow and it all rolls down. It's all gravity driven. One well, that's partly to do with the fact that trenches are subducting and they're, they're seismic. And that instability of the seafloor means that there's not that many species being able to live there. I think what we've seen in Challenger Deep and what we've seen in the bottom of the Philippine Trench and bottom of fracture zones and everything else is they are not the same. The seafloor is unstable here, uh, and that's not something you can apply to other places. What the hell happened here? Yeah, the bottom is just dropping here. I think this is the entire seafloor has collapsed. This is a good example of taking human eyeballs to the bottom really paid off. You could read the landscape there that you've, like, I've never really done before. It's that kind of instinct and mood that you're picking up on. It's a feeling almost. You're looking at this, this is, what is wrong with this? Now look at these layers of mud. This looks like it's just solid mud. It was very different from most other dives. It was about why are there no animals here, rather than let's document the animals that are here. The idea is that what we're proving is what's called the heterogeneity of habitat. That there isn't just one rule you can apply to every trench and say this is what happens in trenches. And this is why this deep sea program is going to go around all these places and try and disentangle these things and try and work out what are the rules of the trenches or what's the rules of the deep sea and what are rules which are applied locally. So I feel like I understand Horizon Deep better now than I did two days ago.